Welcome back guys to Paper Mario Color Splash as I head back into Port Prisma to get ourselves a little bit of mail. I've also dumped all the cards I could into the museum and supposedly unlocked some art, including all the thin cards, and then re-bought them from the ringer, which is why my coin totals are a fair bit down, but considering we might be heading to Rochambeau, we're probably going to get that back up. Hey Mario, great timing, you've got new mail. As we continue on, the legendary king of Rochambeau has appeared to defend his throne. Defeat him to claim a special card. He awaits you at Rochambeau Temple 1. Remember, you can always read your letters. Right, that's fine. But now we know what's going on. Essentially, until the king appears, you can't actually do Rochambeau by look at it, like, properly. But I'm guessing I have to defeat some people to get there anyway, which is going to be hard. Because I don't seem to do very well against that turtle guy, do I, with the paper, paper, paper strategy that I'm using currently. All the paper. All the paper. Endless paper. So everything has been wrung out yet again. Let's find out what's going on here, shall we? We have all the things we could ever want. Alright then, explain to me what's going on now. The first round opponent, any of you use the card that most resembles him, he's well rounded. Yeah, we know that. And the second round opponent does that. But is anyone going to tell me about the king? If you'd like to compete in the Rochambeau tournament, please head through the door. I guess I've just got to fight like normal Rochambeau. The Rock Paper Wizard is in the building. Want to enter the tournament? Yes. Do you think he'll appear instead of the third guy? Alright, we can skip to get to our first battles, of course. The competitors will take the stage because we know it to be Goomba. And we know he's going to play Rock. So you know what I'm going to play. Almost feels like the game's programming me to just play Paper Forever. Forever and ever in any Rochambeau game. But there's those coins back. That's basically one rung item. Then if you win the second round, you get enough for nearly two, depending on which ones they are. Playing all the paper, because he either papers or punches. Alright, so that's two down. Now, will it appear now or not? Well, considering we're not getting the option to skip this time, it looks like someone's in the building. Dim the lights, he approaches. Ladies and gentlemen, the man you've all been waiting for. He's in the smoke. I'm a bit confused. Is that the hand he plays? Rock, paper, wizard! <laughs> Round three, Mario vs. Rock, paper, wizard. Challenges, set your cards. Um, it looks like I should play scissors against him, but is this a trap? Is this a trap? Does he just have a hand just because he's... Is it a trap? No, it happened! We beat Rock Paper Wizard! Mario! I can't believe it. Mario's to view the Rock Paper Wizard! Is it a trap? <laughs> or did it just backfire? I do not know if he plays random or not. But we beat the guy with an obvious hand on his head. Right, we have our victory. You are our tournament champion. You'll be going home with a fat bag of coins and a brand new card. Right, we got Morton card. Now, that's an interesting card, but it's probably best to put it straight in the museum more than anything. That's a wrap, folks. You don't have to go home, but you can stay here. Bye, everyone. And that'll end another episode. Not really. Right, so now we beat the Rochambeau wizard of this place. Will that mean that we complete this area? You won! Congratulations! So basically we'll just wait till the wizard appears, eh? Wow, you beat the rock paper wizard! We've witnessed the birth of a new champion! Mind you, there might be a different guy in each place. 
They might not all be wizards. Go to the world map. Now will it show up with coloured completion? We got an interesting card for doing it. Right now, all those things have come up. And I'm guessing blue is when we've completed like every star, so blue is perfect. Done and done. Of course, there's another whole temple to get to as we head to our next level. Chateau Chanterelle. What will go on here in this posh sounding place? Oh, well, I'm just going to grab this flag and win automatically. Come on. Well, we've got a green paint star over here. Let's cross and see what's going on. This is the professor's house. Well, there's loads of paint stars. The professor studies fossils and other really old things. He's what's known as an old rock in the parlance of his field. Okay, that's very nice for him. But what can he provide us? That's always the real question, isn't it? Have I really not covered that enough? And that one? Right, so let's get those. Nothing else to go with by the look of it. Let's go in and talk to the professor, considering he's right next to a ton of stars. Welcome back, professor. I've arranged your blue boxes just the way you like the... Oh, you're not the professor. Can I help you? I'm not sure. I think maybe we need to talk to the professor. See, we're looking for missing paint stars and there's tons of them here. It's kind of a long story, but we can see one of them from the professor's front yard. Hmm, are the paint stars extremely old? Because the professor is mostly interested in very old things. You know, fossils, ruins, stuff like that. Well, and his princess. He's definitely obsessed with his princess. I'm assuming it's a little chomp. That reminds me, the professor is on a walk in Mondo Woods with Princess, but he'd been gone so long. I'm actually getting a little worried. Should I do something? Organise a search party? Now my first instinct was correct. I'll just wait passively in the corner and hope for the best. You do that. In the meantime, I'll go through here. Being passive means we can just go where we want to, so I'll take that as an open invite. Can I smash these? No. I was kind of wondering if I could get places with them, because there's an obvious pipe here. Uh, which got me a free paint star. Uh, such a long course. All, all the busy times, you know? I think my reward kind of fit the amount of actual work we did there. Well, yeah. Got another rock paper dojo that we're nearly at, but we'll head back into the Chateau Chanterelle because there's still the second paint star, or the first paint star actually to get. We just got the optional paint star, which really wasn't that hard to find, was it? It was not the main paint star of our journey. The object of our affections is this way. I guess I better watch out for this princess as well. Right, so let's head up here just in case there's anything to paint, which there isn't. And see what else is going on. This is Baby Princess's Cuddle Palace. Ah, <sighs> Professor insists that I call it that. He's dot my pay for not saying it. It looks like Princess tears up the floor a fair bit. I can check. Well, hello. I'll definitely go this way if it gets me a free paint star just lying around. But that's too high at the moment to get to. I can check this as well. Well, let's first of all open this gate. I'm worried I might have to run soon. Okay, what's going on? Well, I want to pull that the other way. A replica fire extinguisher is not too bad. And a pig! A piggy bank is ours. There's only one way to break it to get coins out of this bad boy. We break it, smash it, trash it, catch the pigeon now. Right, so we need to get higher than this. 
Which might be our real problem here. Because we know it's this way, but I can't just jump over. Oh, looked like I only made it then. So I can make it onto the roof, but I can't make it over to the purple bit. So it looks like we need to get maybe in that window. Maybe there's something to cut. If we create a clean line again. Yes, there is. Right, so what are we looking at here? Ah! There we go. That's what we're looking at. Creating our line with the gates. And then we'll just warp our way up. And you'll see me at our destination. For I am there. Paint star claims. Nothing stops me in my sense for adventure. Course clear. Well, two nice, easy paint stars. Plus beating the Rochambeau wizard first time. Though I think that wasn't exactly skill. As we move on to new terrain, though it looks to me... Like, we didn't completely clear that course. In terms of... No, that's yellow flagged, so that is also a full paint level. Chanto Chanterelle is 100% colourless spots completed. Let's go next to Marmalade Valley. Well, we're on a roll now. Beat our first boss. And now easily muscling through. Are we getting on a train? Well, before we talk to anyone, let's just colour a little bit of this here. Though I'm guessing they can't get past because part of the track's messed up. Oh, it's the outer edge there. And this bit here for them, probably. Well, that's fine. You now have the ability to go, Hey, little Mario, take a look at this, would you? I believe we made an important discovery. Now we have to be super careful when we excavate it, just like the professor said. Okay, so the professor's off doing his own thing. Well, let's talk to this guy. Oh, hello, Mario. I don't suppose you've heard the news. My beloved engine here is scheduled to be decommissioned. And Sash has been put out to pasture, but we all get old eventually, don't we? Poor thing. I'll paint you. Isn't this a cool old-fashioned train? I can stare at it all day long. This train fanatic is called Rail Fans. I'll wait for hours just to catch a glimpse of a passing train. I think they're called train spotters, but whatever. This train is bound for Kawano Temple. I'm going to follow it, but firstly, to find some place to cry about my life for a while. You do that. I'll say that definitely looks like a spot to get through to somewhere. Uh, that said, I can't actually get in. So we can break some bits around the place. But they're not places for us to go and adventure. What happens if I go behind the train? I can't, okay. Can I get in the train? No ladder or anything. See, that distinctly looks like I could do something with that. Won't let me in, though. Right, so watch out for other bits like that. Uh, this is a elevator. For different levels for different things. We'll go back up again. I think I will always go for the paint the spot, thank you. I'm pretty sure you can't keep giving me cards like this. Ah! Well, all the same, we are fine. So this area is off limits right now, unless you have a permit. See, we found an extremely rare fossil, and we can't have just anyone walking around. If you don't know what you're doing, you can stop on a million year old bone or something. Anyway, if you really need access, see the professor. He's currently working at Chateau Chanterelle. Ah, when I hear something's off limits, it makes me want to hear even more. Plus, I know I can spell a paint star in there somewhere. Come on, let's go ask this professor if we can poke around his dig site. So we can't do anything. No, 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 I know we're not allowed. But we've got to go to somewhere else to do it. Yes. I'm not going to give you a hug either. So it looks to me like we'll be breaking... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
breaking through the wall to do some excavation. But that's just here. Who's to say this level doesn't have another star? After all, there are train tracks to go through. The tracks just stretch off into the vast boring unknown here, Mario. No point going this way. You say that, but I'm pretty sure there probably is. So what you're trying to tell me, game, is I can't do anything here until I've found this professor. Now we're not on a roll. It's all fine though, we got some more colourless spots. Now we head to the Mondo Woods, which you really should have gone to after he said about that, but I was too busy getting those two paint stars. Let's go find this professor and his princess. Rescuing princesses is what we do. I'm trying to hit you, honest. So we got bell fruits it looks like? Oh, we can squish them for extras, nice. Well, let's get painting up everything we have. Looks like there's like defined targets on these as well. All right, hello. I saw the professor walk right past the spot with Princess. Of course, she's so small and quick, it's no wonder she got away. Probably slipped right out of her collar. Anyway, the professor chased her, but I didn't see where either of them went. How do you put a collar around a brown thing? It's not really going to work unless you put it in the mouth, I guess, but. Are those colour spots? No, they're, they're, they're just they're just nuts. Bolts, those kind of things. Now they're definitely not colourless, are they? Which bit is it that's not done enough? Okay. Those are big coins. Why big coins? Is everything getting bigger? Hey Mario! It's just me, or is there something unusual about this forest? I mean, I can't quite put my handle on it, but... Look to the right. Oh, I just figured it out. Everything's huge! Well, we found out something. But I can still attack. Uh, but that guy lived. Quite easily. Well, I've got this big jump here. Let's, why not use that? I don't know exactly what makes it big. Ow! Oh! Ow! Well, that was critical. Um, okay. So, we've learnt... Ouch! Happens. I'm just going to sort my cards a second. And actually... Use one of these randomly. You'll see what I'm using in a second. One. HP, because that hurt. I want to see how much damage this would do. That seemed quite effective. Can I just not go and let it jump on me again? Because once I've got that on, I feel quite safe. Secure. I'd rather just use my shit, you know, my spike. Oh, no, 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 get it off. Honestly, that was good. I like, yeah, yeah, get that on. Well, if it can do ridiculous damage against me, that seems like a great idea. It's just because I don't take any and I deal massive damage back. Right, the hammer's getting closer. Well, we did see what was going on just as it was about to really do its full reveal, didn't we? So we're going that way. Let's hit him again. And go for another big old battle. Right, we've got our strategy. I do wonder how long these cards will last for me, though. Put it away for the time being. It's just because of its height. But this seems to do the most damage after all. So I could jump twice here. I've got tons of jump cards to paint after all. 
I feel like going back to the shop now and just buying a load of these spiky helmets. They just definitely seem like the best thing to do. Especially when I'm missing like that, but one more spike. And I'll do the win. A brilliant way of attacking and a brilliant way of defending. All in one. A big hammer gained. He actually hit me before I managed to hit you. Same thing then, I take it. Right, where do I find the spiky helm on my list? Let's first of all find that. Oh, don't tell me I'm out. Please don't tell me I'm out. Oh no! Guess what guys? Completely out. Right. The only thing to do is just to do as much damage as we can do. Two already worn hammer painted cards of triple attack. It's not going to be enough to take him down in one go though, is it? It's close. We blocked most of it, but still got hurt a ton. Our multi-jumps, etc. could be the, what we need. And I think that should do. We didn't need the second card, which is why I didn't give it too much paint, but I wanted to make sure it was gotten rid of. As we beat ourselves another giant foe. Oh, we stopped our, myself from getting over to get those coins. Well, it's only a couple of coins and there was no spots to get. But as we continue onwards in this giant forest next time on Colour Splash, I'm thinking I might go back and get some more spiked helms before we continue on. Join me then for more. Bye-bye.